Hi, my name is Son Do-hyun. I was born and raised in South Korea and became a United Church minister in 2016 as an ordained minister admitted from the Presbyterian Church in the Republic of Korea. Currently, I'm serving Grace United Church in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. It is great to be invited for this uh, short interview as a part of the celebration of Asian Heritage Month. Yes, at the moment, there are two Korean networks within the United Church. First one is the Korean network in the United Church of Canada. It consists of lay people and ministry personnel of Korean descent who are interested in engaging with one another in the activities of support, fellowship, and education. And they have their regular online gatherings to share news and update of the network and the Korean community. And each gathering, they invite a guest speaker to provide an educational opportunity. The other Korean network is a Korean Rainbow United, formed by Korean queer people and allies within the United Church. They started this network as an action of solidarity with people in Korea. So these two Korean networks have their own missions and purposes, but they communicate with each other and work together when necessary. I do not have any official statistical data on how many Korean ministers are currently active in the ministry of the United Church, but I had a chance to go through the names of the ministry personnel on the United Church website when I was trying to create a group list of the Korean ministers on behalf of the Korean network. And I would say at least over 60, 60 ministers in my understanding, there are 10 Korean-speaking congregations located in big cities like Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Hamilton, Windsor, Toronto, and Montreal. I'm truly grateful for the many positive experiences I have had since I began my congregational ministry in the United Church in 2014. If I had to pick just one experience that I appreciate the most, I would say the cross-cultural or intercultural engagement between me and the community of faith I have served. Some church members invited me to come out to their farmland and ranch to experience a rural Canadian life. I have also shared some Korean and Asian culture and traditions in worship service, preaching and fellowship. And I believe those uh, cross-cultural interactions help us appreciate each other's life stories and wisdom and learn from each other. On the other hand, uh, cross-cultural interactions can also be uh, challenging. For example, speaking English as my second language is ongoing challenge. I have to work hard to fulfill my responsibilities effectively so that people might recognize my abilities beyond my English accent. Additionally, I have to put up with a casual racist jokes, comments occasionally, but generally my experience has been quite positive and I'm very grateful for that. I think that ministers of Korean descent have brought their strength to the ministry in the United Church. Most of them have a strong faith and conviction hardworking ethics, and humble spirit of pastoral care for people in their congregation. And some of them have been quite active in sharing their gift and talent by taking up leadership in the work of the wider church, network, and regional council, and general council level.